Uh, I believe it was Industrial Road. I didn't put it into the sat nav before we left, but I think it's over here. We're passing the police station, which I know was en route, so we're heading the right direction at least. Uh, oh, there we go. Water tower. Really cannot miss it. Yeah, apparently there is some sort of leak. Quite the stream of water coming out the side there. And I think, yeah, spraying onto DOT. So we'll park uh, just up at the base here. We can set up our equipment and uh, we will get we'll get started, right? Um, probably just best to pull up here. Uh, there we go. That's fine. We've got a mobile crane set to arrive soon, uh, which will actually get us up there. And uh, we've got some supplies in the truck as well, which can patch this water leak. I'm guessing this was from the storm yesterday, right? Something must have hit the water tower. Probably a tree branch, actually. Those things can be pretty uh, pretty damaging at uh, high speeds. Uh, yeah, DOT probably aren't happy that they're being showered on. Perfect. And there is our portable ladder truck. Rental portable ladder truck. Not entirely sure of the name. At least that will get us up there and uh, we can get working on it. Uh, can you guys find a way into this place? Usually there aren't people working here. This is more of a, a maintenance outpost if needed. But it would also be useful to get in. Looks like it's all locked up though. I'm guessing that is how we access this uh, cordoned off area here. Probably parking over this side would be best. Uh, either by this bus stop here or just behind our van. I think there should be enough room to uh, move the ladder. Uh, on the side of the road should be fine. That's actually a great DOT offering to uh, help block off the road whilst we work on this. Quite helpful since we only uh, pack limited cones. Right, they're going to get that set up. Let's spin our ladder truck around. DOT again, their uh, people to set up a couple of cones and whatnot. Just block off the road and keep us safe whilst we're working on this. Uh, right, okay. Well, this should be relatively quick and simple to fix. However, saying that we don't get many calls about a, what, 40, 50 foot water tower that needs repairing. So definitely going to be slightly challenging. Lovely. And then they've, they've got the, the water spillage over there. Doesn't actually look like it's draining out. So it uh, could quite likely flood the DOT parking lot. Not great as well. Right. Uh, well, yeah, prepare the equipment. We'll just head up there. I'll grab um, the tools from the back of the truck here and... Yeah, we'll hopefully have this done, I'm going to say an hour. I, I, we could probably do it in 30 minutes, but I'm not going to put us under too much time pressure here. Let's actually just back up a bit here so we can see the water's coming from quite high up there. We've got uh, binoculars. Let's uh, bring those out real quick, which does make me wonder how that leak was formed. Seems very high for a tree to be flung about, but then again, anything can happen in these storms. Right, good luck up there. Yeah, be careful as well with the lamp post. Quite, uh, quite close to that. All we can really do from down here is monitor. We phoned in to Liberty Water and we're kind of waiting on a reply. We don't have access to this building and I'm going to assume that all of the water pressure monitoring systems are in there. That's the only way we can really turn this off. Some dark clouds on the horizon, so I wouldn't be surprised if rain is imminent. Uh, yeah, let's just wrap this up as quickly as possible, honestly. The quicker we do, so the quicker we can get out of here and uh, the less wet we're going to get. Uh, have any of you guys heard from Liberty Water Mains? Because I haven't been able to get any contact with them. They haven't been answering my calls. Would be really handy to get uh, one of their uh, engineers down here to work with us. No, okay. I'm not sure. DOT aren't really going to have any affiliation with them, are they? So, worst comes to worst, we can always send someone down to their offices in River City. But it's a 20 minute drive, so I don't really want to do it right now. All these doors are locked, aren't they? Yeah, no way in. Does look to be closed. And uh, they're probably not expecting anyone down here on the weekend either. So, yeah, that's annoying. What on earth? Where's the, where's the ladder gone? Where? What is going on with the ladder? What happened? Oh gosh, okay, they're attached to a safety rope. There's some failure. Okay, okay, what happened? Can we get the ladder back up there? They're hanging. They're hanging from the side of the water tower. Can we... Did DOT have something? Wait, doubt it was DOT. No, I'm not saying it was DOT. I'm saying, did DOT have something we can get them down with? Uh, have you got a ladder? Have you got anything? Yeah, I, d I don't know. We've had some failure with the with the ladder truck. I heard what sounded like a car hitting a lamppost. Start working on a, a way to get that back up. Oh, it's a hydraulic failure. Oh, gosh. In that case, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get it back up. Can you uh, get, Can you call FD? Call the call the fire department. Get them to send a ladder truck down here as quickly as possible. 
Yeah, if it's a hydraulic failure, then, well, nothing really we can do about that. It's a rental uh, ladder anyways, so... Yeah, not out of our control completely. Yeah, they just gotta hold in there. The safety rope should... Yeah, the safety rope is designed to be strong enough to hold someone. Still not a great uh, position to be in. No, not great at all. Fire department. Perfect, that's their ladder truck arriving now. Um, okay, seems DOT too busy gossiping over there. Are we able to get this moved out of the way as well? Because this is not gonna help if fire department are trying to get their ladder truck through. Wow, that's tight. Okay, they can get under at least. And, uh, yeah, the street's gonna get pretty busy fast. I think they need to park the ladder right somewhere down there. Are we able to move this either? Oh, actually, no, we can't move it. If it's a hydraulic failure, then we can't even bring it back in. And, yeah, fire department find it pretty tricky to position their truck. Let me just, uh, go and talk to whoever's available from the fire department. Just make sure they're up to date on everything. Hey, uh, are you, uh, you're part of the fire department? Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering if you needed any information about this scene here. Thought it would be handy for you to, to know what's going on. Yeah, as, as you can see, we have, it's just the one marker up there. They are attached to a safety line, luckily. Um, so they, they should be fine up there. Still not comfortable. No, no, it was just them on the, the ladder at the time. Yes, yeah, it should be. It's a, it's a proper harness. It, I think it can support up to 150 kilograms, something along the lines of that. So should be perfectly fine for them. It's just if wind picks up or anything like that, it uh, could quite easily come loose. Right, I'm going to move out of the way since fire department look to be pretty busy trying to get their ladder in place. Again, the road is very busy, so I'm not surprised there having trouble positioning is yeah, we try to we try to contact the uh, the city water company but their uh, their phone line isn't exactly very helpful um especially on the weekends all right there we go so they're on the ladder now with the fire department there we go got them down onto a stretcher now and most likely will be taken to hospital to uh basically just being examined make sure they're all right we're not sending anyone back up there today uh especially with this whole incident so yeah, good point. We'll need to move this. Uh, for that to work, we'll need something to lift the ladder off the building. Um, I'm not sure if they have anything. Yeah, check with them. See if DOT has anything that can assist with that. Yeah, the scene seems to be moving further and further out of our hands, so I feel like we're just going to try and stay back. Police are now investigating the issue. Fire department uh, and uh, medics are now transporting them to hospitals. So let's move their work van out of the way and uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there.